Noiseworks have just released their new freebie called Transplit and just like the name suggests it splits the transient part of a signal with the body part but you might wonder how does it do that like it's an effect and an effect can't have two audio outputs so how can you use that to split the transient and the body and then be able to put different effects on the transient and on the body of the signal i'm going to answer this question in multiple different ways in this video and show you the pros and cons of each method first of all you can do this in any door but i will show you the bitwig way but i can tell you it has a lot of routing to it and it will not get easier in the other doors so i'm not quite sure if I would recommend the following things in other doors but you know if you are a huge routing enjoyer in your door of choice then why not but I will also discuss something Bitwig specific which is why would you even use this plugin in the first place because Bitwig already comes with a transient split module and a transient control module and yeah I will also show you the pros and cons of these things compared to transplit I will show you these things on the example of this drum beat It consists of the output of this synthesizer, these additional tracks, and this reamp that I made with Excite Symbol. Okay, so let's discuss the first solution, the easiest one, by the way. In this solution, you are just making an FX layer, I called it Transplit Easy, and you add an instance of Transplit to it, in which you put the transient sustain slider completely left to transients. Also, you attach macros to the sensitivity, to the length, and to whether or not it should trigger more to low mid or high frequencies and then you are making a copy of this layer but on the other copy the only thing you change is that you move this over to sustain and now you have two different instances and now you could put different effects after transplit to tweak this to your liking i don't know distort the transients and reverberate the body whatever you can come up with. And the cool thing is when you tweak these macros here, it will change in both instances at the same time, which is really comfortable. This is one of the reasons why I said in the beginning that this might not be a very comfy workflow in most other doors. You really need these macros to enjoy this. Now there is another option how you can go about this that is more CPU friendly actually, and I will talk about it really soon. But first of all, I wanna answer the question, why not just use the other Bitwig internal modules? Let's first talk about the transient split. First of all, the transient split has this weird property that when you are putting it on 50% mix, it seems to make the overall signal a little bit louder. I don't know why it does that, but my guess is that it just can't reconstruct the signal perfectly on 100% mix. And because of that, 50% mix also sounds a bit weird. The reason why I think this is the case here is because transient split is a spectral transient shaper. It doesn't use the traditional way of shaping transients. So let's solo the transients. And the body. I think when we solo the transients we can hear it very clearly that this is a spectral transient shaper. These transients that they don't sound very transienty. You can really hear the FFT doing its thing. It sounds kind of wobbly. I don't know about you, but I usually find that pretty annoying when I try to tweak my transients when it already sounds like an mp3 or something. I mean mp3 and transients, that's like an opposite of each other. So I usually don't find a use case for the transient split module. It seems to be more like a gimmick. Now the transient control is actually more of a traditional transient shaper. It separates the signal into attack and sustain and then you can add some gain on each of these. However, if you put an effect into the FX section, like in this case, this clipper, 
view here that it affects both the transients and the sustain. It would have made sense if this had only put an effect on the transients in my opinion because then it would be like one of these Bitwig containers where you have a split like the mid side split, the multiband split, the FX layer and like most of the modules in Bitwig. But this is just completely useless because putting an effect into the FX slot here is just the same as putting it after the module entirely. So this thing is really only useful if you don't want to do anything else than just changing the gain of the transient and the body. However, transient control has one big advantage that none of the other methods have, which is that you can use the sidechain input. For example, to route the drums into it and then you get more of a direct transient shaping than this convoluted reamp signal can give you. You know what I mean? Because the reamp signal is a little more roomy, the transient shaper sometimes doesn't really know what to do. While when you route the dry signal into the sidechain input, it becomes more clear to the effect what it's supposed to do, which is nice. And now I can finally show you the chain that combines my easy approach with a more CPU efficient one. It basically works like this. You make a chain and you have transplit in it set to only transients. And of course, these macros for the transplit again, so that you can access all the important parameters from the chain. You give the chain a nice little name like transplit chain. At the end, you will save a preset, but you are not there yet. Here, after transplit, I added an FX layer and I called the layers transient and body. And they are doing exactly that. So as you can see, this works perfectly. You can dry wet the whole thing. It will always come out the same if you don't change anything. And you can put individual effects into each of these layers. Now the transient layer doesn't have any effects in it by default because it is just the output of transplit. The other layer, there you have to get a little bit more creative. I put another layer in it, two layers. The first one is just a polarity flip of the signal that already comes in here. This is the transient only signal and it gets polarity flip because then it gets played together with the output from the pre tool which is even before the transplit so at this point there is no transient shaping yet this is basically the dry signal and I only put this here so that I can select it in this drop down menu here because now when you are mixing the dry signal with the polarity flipped transient shaped signal obviously that results in the sustained signal <laughs> of the body. And now this should theoretically be a little bit more CPU friendly than running two instances of transplit in parallel because the easy solution uses two instances of transplit while this other solution only has one instance of transplit and the other things that are in here are things that don't really use CPU like a polarity flip or receiving audio from somewhere else. So this shouldn't matter. The only thing I could imagine is that this is sort of not very nice to set up but I think if you have a preset then it shouldn't be too bad because then you can just say okay preset transplit preset boom open preset transient body let's go so that shouldn't be too bad yeah and that's how you can use transplit to split a signal into transient and body and then work with that at your favorite effects whatever